hello everyone let's do another paper of cambridge primary checkpoint mathematics paper 1 uh, this is paper of april 2019 uh, code is 084501 this is paper 1 and we cannot use calculator in this paper you can go through the instructions from here you can take screenshot and then you can read afterwards uh, you can use here pen pencil ruler protractor tracing paper is optional and calculators are not allowed in this paper so before we start i would like to request you guys to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so let's start question one uh, Sophia asks some people to choose their favorite sport. The pictogram shows the results. So we have the pictogram here. This is the name of the sport and this is the pictogram. This is the key given to us. This one smiley equals to four people. <clears throat> so one smiley face shows four people. How many people choose basketball? So we need to see how many choose basketball as one peop, uh, one smiley face um, shows four people so basketball here we have two smiley so that means four plus four it is eight so how many people chose basketball answer will be eight people part b ten people choose swimming complete the pictogram so swimming is ten people so one smiley shows um, four people so let's see like four plus four then plus two that will make ten so that means this is one smiley second and the other one will be half of that so we will complete this here so you can see four again four then half will draw one eye and half smile so this will show 4 plus 4 8 plus 2 it is 10 so that is question number one now question number two complete the following calculations so we have 34 plus what gives you 100 so you can directly subtract like 100 minus 34 or you can do 34 plus here answer is 100 so 4 plus what gives you uh, 10 so 4 plus 6 is 10 here so after um, out of 10 0 will come here and 1 will go up here 3 plus 1 4 then 4 plus 6 again it is 10 so answer will be 66 so 34 plus 66 is 100 or you can directly subtract 34 4 form 100 question number 3 complete these calculations so we have here 363 times 10 so as it is times 10 so we are multiplying by 1 so this will remain same 363 we will add 1 0 here ok so there is no need to do actual division we can just count the number of 0 and add in that so now this one here it is 64,000 over 100. So we are dividing by 100. So these two zeros will get cancelled with this one. So we are left with only 640 which is the final answer of this question. Question 4. Which number is 600 more than 1809? So that means we need a number which is more than, which is 600 more than. So that means we are just going to add 600 in that. Uh, Given number, 8, 9 plus 0 is 9. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 6 is, is 14. So 1 will go here. 2,409. Okay, let's move to question number five. Two of these drawings are net of triangular prism. So these are the nets of triangular prism. 
uh, two of these so and draw the ring uh, ring around them so we need to recognize which is the net of triangular prism triangular prism that means uh, we used to we need to have uh, the base as a triangle so you can see there are true triangles in every uh, this uh, prism given to us so we will go one by one like if you look at this shape so when you uh, fold this so both the triangles are on same side so it cannot close the other side so this cannot be the answer uh, and in this one if you fold this one here this will come up on this so then this will make a triangular prism so one is this answer and the second one here this this cannot be because uh, you have these two here when you fold here it will not cover again one of the sides and this you can see these are parallel when you fold it here this will come on this one and here so they will be a closed shape so these two are the shapes uh, are the nets of triangular prism question number six uh, we are given these uh, complete the calculation we are given 913 minus something equals to 300 and something uh, so we can write down like this 913 then minus we have this digit 8 here and 3 and 7 so we need to fill these blanks here this one and this here so uh, let's see then here this is 3 and 7 so because this is subtraction so that means this should be a third number 13 because we have here 7 so after 7 you can count up to 13 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 how many are they 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so it will be 6 here so it was 13 13 minus 6 is 7 so here it will be 10 here it will be 8 so 10 minus 8 it is 2 so then 8 minus what gives you 3 this will be 5 so we can write down this answer here so it will be 5 this is 6 here and 327 question 7 write the missing numbers in the box missing number in the box uh, you can see dash right angles is equal to one whole turn so if this is the quadrant one full turn is this one from here starting from here this is the full turn full turn is of 360 degrees okay so now how many right angles you can see this is a right angle this one is right one right 90 second right again 90 from here 90 and 90 you can see how many uh, right angles that means 90 angles one two three and four so we have four right angles so answer will be four right angles will make one whole turn okay now question number eight jamila thinks of three digit number the sum of the digits is eight the sum uh, sorry the number is multiple of five but not multiple of ten so multiple of five means it should end with the five um and zero so multiple of five uh, multiple of five will end with the zero or five but uh, it is not not multiple of ten so that means a number should not end with not multiple of this the number should not end with zero so we are taking multiples of five that ends with the five only <clears throat> okay so but we have to be careful that we are taking number uh, sum of the digit should be eight so we can take any number above hundred because hundred is uh, first three digit number after this so we can choose randomly any of the number um, that ends with this so we are not taking this because this is multiple of ten so we can choose randomly any number like that ends with the five but our sum of the digits should be 8 hmm. uh, so 5 if I take 5 plus 1 6 and then we can take 2 5 plus 1 
six plus two it is eight so one number may be two hundred and fifteen so if you add that means if you add the digits our sum is eight here okay similarly we can take another number let's say i'm taking five here so you can take uh, uh, let's say if i take three here because this is two and one if i take three here so then we will not have here uh, if we are taking three here so five plus three eight so this is not three digit number so this cannot be answered so we can take uh, like five here and then three here and we can put zero in the middle so here also the sum of digits 3 plus 0 plus 5 it is 8 so it can be 305 three digits number whose sum is 8 question number 9 uh, complete the sequence so we are given this sequence here so plus 17 plus 17 that is the rule uh, so we are going to add 17 in each to get so 15 plus 17 7 plus 10 it is 12 uh, this will be 32 so here answer will be 32 then 32 plus 17 here 7 plus 2 it is 9 this is 49 so here it will be 49 and this is given if we are going back here so that means we have to subtract so this is 15 so 15 minus 17 this will be negative 2 so from here it will be 15 minus 17 which is negative 2 so this will be the uh, number after subtracting 17 I hope you understood up to this if there is anything any doubt you can let me know in comment section I will try to answer your questions question number 10 a lorry and a car leave a garage at same time and travel in same direction right uh, the lorry travels 28.6 kilometers in one hour and car travels 45.4 kilometers in one hour how far apart are the two vehicles after one hour so uh, let me explain in this way a lorry let's say this is their starting point this is lorry starting point and this is a, what else is that it is car okay so a lorry uh, travels 28 in one hour so let's say uh, in one hour in one hour uh, this covers 28.6 kilometers okay and car travels 45 which is much i mean like far from this this is also one hour journey so this actually is 45.4 kilometer so the question is how far apart are the two vehicles after one hour after one hour this is here so how far they are the uh, lorry is at this point okay and car is at this point so this is the difference here so that means we are just going 45 45.4 uh, minus um, 28.6 14 minus uh, this will be 14 minus 6 will be 8 okay then 14 this is 6 here 16 so it will be 16.8 kilometers all right now move to question number 11 at midday the temperature in the uh, in warsaw is 5 degrees celsius at midnight the temperature is 8 degrees celsius colder uh, what is the temperature at midnight so uh, it is just we are going to like it was the temperature was 5 degrees celsius and colder mean it is decreased by 8 degrees so it will be minus 3 degrees celsius the answer will be minus 3 in this case question number 12 write these numbers in the carol diagram 
so uh, you can see we have these numbers given here one has been done for you like 16 16 is uh, square number not multiple of 5 so we will see uh, one by one uh, so first one is 20 so 20 is it a square this is not a square number so not square number here but it is multiple of 5 so 20 will come here okay so we are done with 20 uh, after that 25 25 this is a square number so it can be written as 5 squared this is square number and multiple of 5 square number and multiple of 5 so that means 25 will come in this box here after that 27 27 is not a square number <coughs> not multiple of 3 so this will come here and then 30 30 is multiple of 5 because it ends with this uh, 0 but it is not a square number so 30 will come here and 36 it is a square number because it can be written as 6 squared so this will be here it is a square number but it's not multiple of 5 question number 13 here is one side of a quadrilateral drawn on the coordinate grid so we this is the one side of the quadrilateral which is drawn here uh, plot the third vertex at 4 5 so 4 this is coordinate of x this is coordinate of y so x4 is here and y is 5 x4 and y is 5 so this is the coordinate of uh, 4 and 5 which is given here so that is part a we just need to plot this vertex here uh, part b and the shape is a trapezium with one line of symmetry which point complete this shape so for the one line of symmetry means to say like it should have the same side as this one so if we draw another line here another vertex here i mean this one so shape will be like this here so this will be uh, one line of symmetry out of here uh, so we have to say this point which point is this if you go down here this is 6 x is 6 and y along this way if you go it is 3 so answer is 6 and 3 x coordinate and y coordinate 6 and 3 question number 14 uh, pens are sold in box of 30 a school buys 60 boxes how many pens does the school uh, buy so we have 60 60 uh, pens are sold in box of 30 so there are 30 and 60 boxes have been bought like 60 boxes and in one box there are 30 pens so uh, this will be multiplication first with the zero uh, 0 0 then 0 and 18 0 0 8 1 or you can directly do uh, 30 times 60 so there are two zeros this zero this zero then 6 times 3 it is 18 1800 pen so in total there will be 1800 pens uh, so this is the first part of the video uh, in the second part i will uh, do the remaining questions so i hope you understood all these questions if there is anything uh, for further explanation you can let me know i will try to answer all your questions please like subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching